welcome back. It is Vlogmas Day 12 and it is Saturday, December 12th. I have been up for a while, I was working on the vlog. It's like 10 o'clock now and I thought I would do a little like what I eat in a day. So I'm gonna start with breakfast of course and I think I'm gonna make some eggs and Definitely gonna make a coffee, so I'll figure that out. We're gonna do a little what I eat in a day, because why not? So I think for my coffee of the day, I'm going to make a mocha. So I think I'm just gonna make the coffee really quick, put it in the fridge so that I can make my breakfast and then I'll do the milk and everything and then it'll all be ready at the same time. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is one of my favorite Nespresso pods. It's called Cocoa Truffle. So it's basically like a chocolate flavor. Okay, so I have eggs, toast, and a little iced mocha. Now it's time to eat breakfast. All right, it is a while later now. It is almost 2.15, and I'm about to head out and go to the grocery store because I need to pick up a few things, and I'll probably just get something there for lunch too. All right, I'm back from the grocery store. Um, I didn't really have to get much. I just got some feminine products, you know, so I did get lunch and it's looking pretty good. So I got this sushi roll. So this is like a Hawaiian roll with tuna in it. So I'm gonna open this and see all what's inside. So it definitely has tuna, I think two different kinds maybe, and avocado and some spicy mayo and cucumber. So yeah, this looks really good. So this is gonna be my lunch for today. All right, so it's a little later now. I'm gonna be making a little bit of a drink. So the other day we went to the Asian grocery store and I got these tapioca pearls. So basically like boba. And I got some of this black tea. So I thought I would attempt to make a boba milk tea little drink. So I've never made this before. I don't even think I've ever had milk tea before. So I don't really know where this all this came from, but I've had a boba drink before. It just wasn't a milk tea. So anyway, I'm gonna attempt to make this. I watched a YouTube video and it seems pretty easy. And this says it's ready in five minutes. So I don't think it's gonna be that hard. Just gonna get a big pot here and I'm gonna fill it up with 10 cups of water. All right, that is 10 cups of water. And now I'm just gonna bring it to a boil. While I wait for the water to boil, I'm just gonna heat up some boiling water on a kettle here for the tea. So I'm gonna fill this up and then I'm gonna steep the tea for like five-ish minutes. On the video I saw, you need black tea. So this is the one I'm gonna use. All right, the water is boiling. So I'm gonna put two cups of water in here. So I'm gonna do two of the tea bags in two cups of water. Two tea bags going in. It is go time. I'm gonna put a cup of the boba pearls in there. Slowly. So now we're gonna let it go for like two or three minutes until they like float up to the top. And I'm gonna stir them so they don't like stick together. So some things are happening. Um, they are turning translucent and they kind of look like cocoa puffs. I'm just gonna let them go for like two more minutes. They're all done. Now I'm just gonna strain them and rinse them off with cold water. So 
It looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna dissolve some like brown sugar in water and then put the boba in there. I take two tablespoons of brown sugar and just dissolve that in there. So I'm gonna stir that up and dissolve it. So I'm gonna put these in here. All right, so I'm just gonna let this sit for like a few minutes and then I'm gonna get all my other things ready for the little drink. So I'm gonna do a half a cup of boba. Yeah. Now I'm gonna take four tablespoons of sugar. Seems like a lot, but just gonna go off the recipe. I'm gonna do one cup of tea. Okay, I need it. I think I need a different glass. So um, I didn't have a big enough glass, so I'm just gonna put this in there. <laughs> um okay whatever all right now i'm gonna do um a half a cup of milk wow look at that and now i'm just gonna top it with ice there's our boba milk tea from scratch wow all right taste test so this is the closest thing i have to like an actual boba straw i'm gonna try them just the drink first That's really good. Now I'm gonna get some of the boba. Hopefully it comes in the straw. Mm. Wow, that's really freaking good. It's definitely a success. It's not too sweet, which I was kind of scared that it would be a little too sweet, but it's actually really good. Wow, I'm really impressed with myself, honestly. So it is 6.45 now and I'm about to make some dinner. I took these pork chops out of the freezer a while ago. So I'm gonna do some Dijon and panko and put it in the broiler. I also have a sweet potato I'm gonna make and I think like a little side salad. So we're gonna begin prepping our little dinner. I'm gonna start with the pork and I'm just gonna season it a little bit. I'm just gonna do a little salt and pepper on each side. For the breading, we're gonna do panko. So I'm gonna put some panko in this dish. And to help it stick to our pork chop, I'm gonna put some oil in there, just like olive oil. And I'm gonna do some salt in the breadcrumbs and pepper. And then I'm just gonna put some Italian seasoning in there too. I mix it up with a fork. I'm taking just a regular Dijon mustard and I'm gonna put that on the pork. And I'm gonna take just a little um, rubber spatula and spread it all around. Now I'm gonna pick it up and put one in the breadcrumb mixture. And then I'm gonna repeat with the other side. I'll just grab your baking sheet that's lined with foil and sprayed with Pam. And there we have one little pork chop. So to prep my sweet potato, I'm just gonna prick it with a fork a few times. And I'm gonna just throw it in the microwave for like eight minutes. There we go. It shouldn't take that long, so. Going in. All right, so this is the finished dinner. I got my sweet potato, just with a little butter and brown sugar, and a little pork chop, and I'm gonna eat it now. So this is what my dinner turned out to be. All right, so I'm just coming on here real quick to end the vlog. I hope you enjoyed my little, like what I eat in a day, and some little fun cooking things that I did. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, and I will see you all tomorrow, bye. Thank you.